Ken is the Three Rivers ITT. There's a website called Tennessee Gravel where they compile a lot of cool routes anywhere from 20 to 130 miles. And each of the three areas has a challenge route. My name is Luke Swab and um, I've just been riding with Matt Schweiker a lot because I like to ride. We both have really flexible schedules. He's constantly training every year for all these different big projects that he does like Silk Road last year before that. It feels like we're hanging out with them as opposed to hearing about their experience from the point of view of a talking head and B-roll. It feels like this is an in-depth experience and we're on the ride with them. Um, and we're experiencing each mile as they are and their camaraderie and their bromance between these two is what makes it special and adds the heart to the piece. A lot of the reasons why we feel like we're on the journey is because the piece is shot primarily handheld, handheld or on a GoPro from their point of view, as opposed to a camera looking at the bicycles. And so we're looking at like bystanders. It feels like we're actually in the seat with the riders in this piece. I thought this was really fun. I loved the irreverent nature throughout how this piece was peppered with uh, the little mishaps or that kind of loopy feeling you get after pushing your body so hard and having this trip away with your friends. And uh, I, I really was caught myself laughing quite a bit because these guys reminded me of some of my friends too. So I thought that was really fun to be able to to get to know them in this it's kind of goofy way and immerse yourself in this this biking trip with them. Um, I thought the pacing was great. The music selections were awesome because it really did give almost like mini sagas to the piece and it kept up the the energy and the excitement from it. So I thought this was really engaging and I, I loved being immersed in this trip. The cinematography in this was just it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the interviews were great too. Um, this was a huge undertaking, what they did. And going through this journey with them and kind of everything that they had to do, the, the physical endurance alone was just crazy. But it was beautiful. Getting to see a lot of the scenes that they saw, it was just great. Um, and one of the things that made this so much fun was the personalities of the guys, being able to watch them and their rapport with each other and their rapport with us as the audience. You you felt like you were a friend of theirs. I was in for the ride with these guys. It just felt like, you know, uh, hanging out with a couple of buddies, just having a good time and uh, you know, hearing their stories and how they got there and uh, the, the journey that they took and the cat attacking the dogs from the sunroof, I thought was the nice touch. That's something um, a keen sort of filmmaking and documentary sensibility will uh, will inform a, a director or producer. Like, that's something we should put in. That was just a nice, nice color to it all. A couple of screws loose has uh, multiple meanings behind it. It has a direct source to bikes themselves as they carry screws and it's about a couple of guys who have some grand ideas some grand goals and they are highly capable of achieving them and going on this adventure uh, together and that's exactly what we get to see here there is a three-day journey as these bikers are uh, going the distance, and they are very likable individuals. You get to also see some day players in the mix, and uh, you sort of get to see them endure this journey together and kind of separately on their own individual journeys. So we get a more intimate insight to the this adventure that they get to go on. This short film just show how like they prepare themselves, how they get into the training in 30 days before like the big race. And I feel like the video is pretty casual to show like their lives, their daily routines and how they get away like from the town to focus fully on the training like in the mountains. So everything is well put together 
it's kind of like a vlog style like in this documentary there's some like proper like interview shots in this one but at the same time we get to follow every details of their like training like period so the documentary is fully detailed it's lively and it's pretty like easy to go follow with these two bikers